My camera. We are live. I'll check my camera now. I <laughs> didn't check it before, but I can check it now. Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. I mean, Tuesday. <laughs> oh, I don't care what day, what day it is. I'm just happy to spend it with you. Uh-oh, Margie's having a thunderstorm. Oh, yeah, I'm we had today. Oh. Really? Well, I didn't have we had some yesterday, but the day before was bad for us. Tornado warnings and watches. Oh, and yeah. Hey, Glennis. Thunderstorm. I hope your battery lasts till it's over. Me too. At least it's rain, not snow. True. Um, yeah, we, we had a couple inches of snow yesterday. Woke up to six more inches today. And... It's still snowing now and it's supposed to snow until tomorrow. So, but you know, I've already declared that it's all going to be melted and gone. It, it'll, it can melt in a week, be gone before you guys get here. It better so. be. It better be. <laughs> well, I'm saying it better be. <laughs> I said, candy, it better be. <laughs> oh, man. Uh -oh. This crap. <laughs> Margie, battery's dead. You plugged back in. Let's hope that it lasts through the thunderstorm, right? <laughs> Yes. Oh, hi, Dawn. So glad you're here. Hello, <laughs> April Fools. Hello, Sylvia. April Fools. Yeah. All this snow and these thunderstorms and tornadoes. April Fools. Jeez, Louise. Mother Nature knows how to fool with us, right? Um, I don't. Let me check my camera over here because I'm feeling like I'm crooked. There we are. I don't like being crooked. <laughs> One of those things, you know? So, okay. And candy straight. Oh, the owl one. That would have been a good one, too. I didn't think about that one. So, you ready to do some more in the art journal? In your art journal, everybody? We like, we like playing in the art journal. There's so many different things we can do. Okay. Shaking sprays. <laughs> no. Distress no. paint. Oh, Oh, well, I thought today, I, I don't know, I wasn't in the mood to get all painty, messy, spray, whatever. So you can do that if you want, because you can, the, the technique that we'll do, you can start it any, any way that you want. But um, what we're going to do is make a background or take a background like this is one that I made last week, and I could take this one to start today. Fix my. And if I don't want to use this one, or if you don't have one that you want to use from last week, then uh, you can make a new one. And you could make that new one by smearing paint or sprays or um, ink. You could do completely do it with ink. Just you know, blending brushes and ink will work. Um, any way to get color on a background. Now, let me start by saying that your background on here, you want to get down some color that you like. Um, so you may pick three colors in the warm or in the cool. You want color that you like to look at. But your goal, your purpose of this background is not making a background that you love. Because when you make a background that you love, then you don't want to cover it. And this is going to get mostly covered. So definitely don't do it with the intent of um, having a background that you love. So I made a bunch last week as we were doing that. And this is one that I love the color, but there's nothing about the background itself that makes me say, oh, I wouldn't want to cover it. And it's a page that I already folded in half so I could stick it right into an art journal. Hmm. So... I think I will use that one. Um, looks like Candy just did some paint or something, a spray, or did you pull out one you'd already done? This is one I've already done. This is one okay. I did last, last week. Okay. Okay. So you're going to work off one you did last week yeah. as well. And maybe everybody has one. And, you know, another one that I have sitting here, this was one that I had put underneath something else as I sprayed it. Um, and so it caught a lot of overspray. I could just add some color to this one and it would be perfect as well and still get some really good use out of it. Um, it you know, it doesn't have to go to waste. So I could do that. <clears throat> so, so you have your background. Then the next thing, background is not supposed to be the art, just the backdrop for your art. Exactly. That's, that's why it's called 
background. It's in the background. It supports your art. It um, enhances your art and is just um, a background. So it's not a blank canvas. But most of this is going to get covered. So that's why I say, just I keep saying that so that you won't make one that you absolutely love. Hi, Ivy. Welcome, welcome. So I'm going to take this one that I made last week. And then the next thing we want to do is put a couple images or shapes on it. <clears throat> now, you could find a stencil. If you're like um, Sylvia or Angie, you could draw something. Candy's got some cute stencils there, an owl and um, a raccoon and those kinds of things. All you want is the outline of it. And those are perfect. Um, Angie, Sylvia could draw something because they're so good at that. I'm going to try to make this just a little bit flatter here. So if you want to draw and, and you just want the outline again, no detail. Um, but here's a stencil with a, with a bunch of hearts. So I could do a big heart right here. And then maybe I do a couple small hearts over here. I just want a couple of images. Or here's some outlines that I could just do. There's a di uh, two dinosaurs. I could do the outline of a dinosaur. <clears throat> Excuse me. My throat is just going up today. Um, more hearts. But then I just saw this one. And I like the bird. I don't need all the detail. In fact, I don't want all the detail. But I think I may try to, I think I will try to um, use this toucan. And all I want is an outline. So I may get part of it and then just have to fill in the rest of it myself. But that helps because I know if I tried to draw, <laughs> draw the whole thing, I know what Mr. Toucan would look like. And it wouldn't be a toucan, Sam. Okay, so I'm going to move these over. And then you you could draw them with a pencil. Um, I may try it with a pencil. I, I want to make it so you can see it. If that doesn't work, I'll go over it with a Posca just so that you can see it. But if you draw it with a pencil, you'll be able to see it. And that's all that matters is that you can see it. <clears throat> so let me decide where he's going to be. Maybe he'll be right here. And I could put something else even over on this side, maybe a heart. How tall is that page? All right, so I'm just choosing where he'll be. I keep getting caught in these little guys up here. Um, get his branch and most of it. Make sure I'm not cutting off his beak in the center if I fold the page. So you could draw, draw a bird or a butterfly. Just draw the outline of a bird or the outline of a butterfly are perfect for this. So all I want to do is outline this toucan. And so I'm going to go along the very outline edge. Um, it's a white, you know, there's enough that you get color and then you can tell what it is. So I'm just going to pencil along the very outer edge. And I know I'm just going to have to go in and fill in to make it solid afterwards but at least this gives me it's like working with a a dot to dot or something i need that help when i'm making drawing not okay so here's his tail let me do this if i'm down here if you have one that's like this and has lots of detail in it i'll do this side of the tail and the tail's coming down here I'm not going to do all this stuff in the center because I don't want the detail. I only want his outline. So I'm doing what it, what would be outline on him. So I'm trying to go along the outer edge of this part of the stencil. So I get that outline. Okay, did I go all the way up there? I'm not even going to do, I may do where his eye is. Because I may put an eye, but I don't want all the other detail. <clears throat> Let's see. I think I got his outline there. Okay, I would 
like to get the branch that he's on. So he's not just hanging out there. If you draw a bird, the bird can just be standing. And that's actually perfect. Or a butterfly can be any, you know, side view, front view, anything. Butterfly is a perfect image for this. Be really pretty doing this. Okay, so let's see if you can see. Can you see the outline? I know it's in pencil, but let's see if that shows up there. There. Okay, so that's showing on YouTube. There's the outline of my toucan. He does look kind of weird without all the detail. And I can choose to draw some detail in later. You'll see um, what I mean uh, afterwards. So, so I'm going to take where I just had parts and pieces and I'm going to fill it in and just make me a full outline of my image. Maybe a piece of cardstock that you're not going to use as is but has colors that are okay. Yes, yes, actually that would work. Just a one can. He's not a two can. He's a one can. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, you know, that's another good thing. If you have a piece of cardstock that you like the colors, but you really don't like the, the design and you're not going to use it, that would be perfect to use for this. Let's see. This goes around. You know, I forgot wipes. That's what I forgot. Oh, I do have a wipe here. All my wipes. You're also going to need um, some collage fodder, uh, book pages, music pages, whatever. I just got some scraps of stuff that's sitting on my desk. And you'll need um, some glue to put that down. And I have a thing of just PDA. This is actually just tacky glue um, that I water down with, with water. And I just recently put more water in it. I'm hoping that it's not too watery. You will soon find out um, that I use for collaging. Let's see where I need to find his feet. <clears throat> okay, so his foot comes, his leg comes right here. And going to need the other side of his foot. Come right around. And where's the other one? There it is, right there. I will connect all those dots and get the other side of this foot. Okay, and there's the branch. And the branch can go right there too. All right, so I can see the outline of my toucan, and where's the heart stencil? I will put a heart on the other side. That will be good. I heart toucans. No, it'll be toucan heart. <laughs> I'll do um, <clears throat> maybe a smaller heart down here. And I got a bigger of these two. I'll do a little heart right here, maybe. Put it on that over there. Oh well, that'll work. This one up here. Okay. Hmm. That works. All right. So, hey, Angela. Happy, happy, happy. Angela in the house. Okay. So, I took this stencil of the coupon and I just followed his outline and outlined him on the page here. And then I stenciled two hearts. You'll see them as we as we go. I could I could do them in Posca so you could see them. That actually might be very helpful. Let me see if this one is this the one that was about out of ink. Uh, one of them is just about out. I've used it a lot. Let's find out. If I do this, you'll be able to see exactly where I am and what I'm doing. 
So outline of anything, anything that you want to put on here. Um, if you don't see a stencil handy that you like to use, you can draw a butterfly or draw the outline of a bird. Works very well. You could also take an image out of a magazine, cut it out, and so you can just draw around it, trace around it, around the outside edge. All you want is the outline of whatever you're doing. Okay, so as I do this for you to see, I'm not even putting in the detail over there. I'm leaving it all just outline. There's his branch. And his feet come over the top of the branch. Yeah, Marianne just takes over. Angela, she just takes the camera. <laughs> That's funny. So there Candy's putting a butterfly and an angel on hers. A uh, fairy. Get it right. I'm sorry, fairy. I did it again. I don't know. Maybe I think fairies are angels. They're just angelic. Fairies are cute. I don't know. I keep calling fairies angels. They're not angels. They're fairies. All right. I'm going to give him an eye. I don't know what kind of eye two cans have right now, but that works right there. Okay, and I don't trust myself to do those hearts. I'm going to bring my stencil back over here. And let's see, actually. Well, the camera's on candy. I'm just going to erase this. Oh, no. and that, then, get that what? right. <laughs> Well, you know, complaining, you get the camera. <laughs> I really wasn't complaining. They I were, know. But, you know me, I don't know. I'd be happy not being on the camera. I know. That's why I'm messing with you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. I'm going to bring this one over here. All right. So you can grab a pay, um, just a background that you did last week or grab a piece of um, cardstock where you like the colors, but you don't care for the design, you're probably not going to use the page. Let's see. What do I want this in? I'll put it here. Okay, so I've got my toucan on a branch. And I've got two hearts. Two hearts is better than one, right? Get another no, little. it's not. <laughs> <laughs> and they have to compete. <laughs> oh. <laughs> not competing hearts, just beating hearts. <laughs> oh, man. No competing hearts. Okay, so there are, now you can see. Now you can see my toucan and my hearts that are on there, ready to go. All right, then, move my pencils out of the way. <laughs> they prefer to see both of us at the same time anyway. Just bask in the snarkiness. <laughs> we need an HPP stamp set. Like snark and stuff. Yeah, we just have the printed words, ladies. <laughs> hmm. um, yeah, we we take we uh, choose our snark comments or phrases, and then Candy types them up and puts them in the files, so you can print them out and use them. And and they're you know just on paper, so you just glue them down. You can print them as many times as you want. Um, I have. Let's see, what have I got? Okay, so before before we continue with this, we've got texture because we had the background. Uh, we did stencil on it, so we've got some texture there. But you can add a little bit more texture, if you like, by taking a stencil. Let's see what might... 
Maybe I'll just use some basic dots. You can add a little bit more texture by taking a stencil and a um, blending brush and just stenciling in. It doesn't matter if it goes over your image. Trust me, that'll get covered. But um, just to get some in your image. I don't know. I might try this too. Okay. So what's on my desk is walnut stain. So I'm just going to use that. And I stuck my finger in something because there's black on it. Okay. So I am going to take these squiggles. This was that new pack of stencils that we had from Elizabeth Craft Designs last week. Um, happy something. And... I'm going to do, and again, it doesn't matter if it goes over the outside of your design. But so I've got some texture from that stencil, and then I've just added a little texture with some squiggles. I'm going to add some texture with these, just these dots. I think they'll be better. There we go. Yep. The dots are good. There's some dots and some more dots. I like that. And let's get some dots on Mr. Toucan Sam. Make him look like he's got the measles. Let's see, a few here and there. Not all over. I don't want them to be completely dotted. Put this few here and there. Add a little more texture. There we go. Okay. So now we've added a little bit more texture and dimension to these. Thank you, Julie. Hi, Julie. Thank you, Julie, for reminding everybody for a thumbs up. Appreciate that. Appreciate the thumbs up for the effort that everybody makes. Andy's here all the time with me. Um, all the other admin are here and kind of rotating. Just see, already done. Yay. Okay. Now comes the fun. We get to collage. So what we're going to do is collage the negative space. So if you remember last week, we did this and we put some images down and we painted the net. We actually, we didn't put images down. We just drew shapes. We drew some circles or squares or triangles. And then we went through and we painted the negative space. And then that's the one, that's this one. We painted the negative space and then um, went through and doodled on top of the negative space. And then I chose to write, these are the, this was the original paint on the bottom the inside the shapes that I drew. So then I went back and wrote some phrases that I like on there. So this time, instead of shapes, well, the hearts are shapes, you could use shapes. We've used an image. Um, <clears throat> this is really pretty when you do it with a butterfly or a bird or um, uh, even a tree or a fairy. I haven't seen a fairy yet, so we'll see that. Uh, see. I like, I like, I like the art happening. Yes. Let art happen. That's my motto today. Let art happen. You know, that's the thing about art journals too. Yeah, I think that you'll enjoy art journaling more if you don't worry so much about what the end result is going to be and just let it happen. Just let it flow. Art journals always seem to come out better in that way. Okay, so I have, oh boy, I got some brittle paper here. So, so very brittle. So very old and brittle. Yeah, I got some words on there. I've got some book page. I've got some tissue paper, some bits and pieces that were on my desk. I think there's some coffee dyed paper in there. And I don't need that whole book. Let's just get a couple of pages and let's start okay so we're just going to start collaging 
and we're going to collage all the negative space, which means we want to collage everything except our image. So that's why you want a clearly defined um, outline. So you know exactly where you're going to. And you're just going to tear your paper to fit. Like I've got a nice little corner in here. I'm just going to tear the paper to fit in that corner. And I don't want blank edges. I do want um, words. So the part that I um, you know, tear specifically is the part that's up against my image so I can get my outline just like that. But other than that, it can overlap and, um, you know, just, just overlap and collage like you would all over the place. So I'm almost a little scared, but I'm going to try this glue. Maybe instead of putting it straight down there, I'll drop that piece. It was torn perfectly. I just dropped my piece of paper. Where did it go? On the floor. <laughs> I thought so, but I don't see it. Maybe it went in the trash, but there it is in the trash can. Okay. That was easier to get. All right. So this is going to go right there. Then I'm going to see how runny this glue is. So this is just a giant gallon thing of tacky glue. And I keep some in a, I keep some in a jar and I just water it down like 50, 50 and it's perfect for collaging. So I also have some in a, in a squeeze bottle that I can just, you know, squeeze on things. So I thought for this type of collaging, this might be easier to use than the jar where I just smear it everywhere. <clears throat> so that works. All right. So if I'm careful with it, it's not too watered down. So I want to get, into here along these edges and I'm just going to do um, I'm just going to do along these edges first because I know I need to tear the shape right there other than that just slap them down anywhere oh I hear somebody somebody is making himself known <laughs> Yes, he, she is. Oh, oh, is that? Oh, wait, wait. That's KK, right? KK. Yeah. Okay. It was CK that. Crap list. So she's he's That's avoiding. Me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Last time I left my room at two thirty. Stepped outside the door. He peeped right outside the door. Oh. Stepped right in, it, ladies, because you know I turn lights off, so it's dark when I first go out. And yeah. And then I go into the bedroom, and he comes into bed like he wants petted, so I pet him, and then he bites me. Me right, he hits it right on the side of the finger. Ouch, right? That and tender spot. Rodney. He's lucky I don't. Oh, chase yeah, I'm ready to bury his little butt. <laughs> <laughs> that one kind of tore perfectly on its own, just the right shape right there. So, let me put that. Yeah, um, that's not a way to make mama happy. <laughs> no, it's not. No, I've got some other scripts in here. Let's see what's. <clears throat> Good thing I don't feed him or he'd be going hungry today. <laughs> Why pencil for the project? Yeah, really. Linda, oh, did you choose something too detailed with shapes, not just one outline? Yeah. Yeah, this fairy is going to be a pain. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, the smaller it is, the more detailed it is, the more you're not going to like it. <laughs> you want something that's just a fairly big outline so that you have the shape. By the time we collage around it, you'll see the shape of your your image. Um, Linda, you're a super talented drawer. You could draw a bird or a butterfly. I yeah, love the, so the yeah. birds when you see this. Draw something, you guys be awesome. I'll st I'll still be I would still be drawing when we're you know end of our two hours. I'd still be trying to get the drawing right instead of collaging. So yeah, That's me too. I need to find a stencil that I could just outline. But yeah, I, I really like the way birds look on this, this technique. They just end up looking really cool. 
So if you can just draw the outline of a bird standing there, um, I think you'd really like it. Let's see. This is the most fiddly part is getting in these little spots like this. And I do want to try to retain his shape. So, and there's not a whole lot rounded. There's a little bit of round, but it's big round. There's not a whole lot of little tiny spots. This right here is the worst right in between his feet. So I'll tear a couple little pieces to try to get right in here and then go back to just collaging big areas. So you also see the hearts real easy, just go around them. There's not a lot of little tiny fiddly pointy in between areas like some things, but yeah, definitely um, a large open stencil just with a shape, an image, um, something like that is always best for this technique. Here are my little tweezers. One of them. There's a little piece sitting here, and I need a little piece right there. Okay. Yeah, I like to get this little fiddly part done first so that I can just play with stuff with <laughs> with um collaging and not worry about this being so intricate or delicate. So yeah, if you got the wrong stencil and you chose something really detailed, take a minute, go get you something that's not so very detailed. It will be a little more fun. Okay, it'll be a lot more fun. <laughs> Punches, dies, other tools. Yes, exactly. Die cutting machine, yeah. You could take a die that you have of any shape and cut it out, set it down, trace around it. It's perfect. Yes. Linda's starting over. That's okay, Linda. <laughs> That's me. Yeah, she wanted to do that last night too, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> we almost didn't do this, but I was really tired last night. So, <laughs> like, I picked the wrong image. <laughs> Oh, well, you know, Candy's like, here's a bird. Okay, I just drew that one. Not a good drawer to begin with. And she didn't draw any feet. And then she drew and two then, different feet. And then, and then the feet were, I don't know, they weren't. And you can't just draw like the lines for the bird feet because collaging right up to the lines, you've got to have a little space in there to show the feet. So, <laughs> yes, it is uh, interesting. Um, let me just, I'm going to put some, I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put book page and paper, newspaper and stuff all around him. Then I can go back and put a little bit of tissue over it here and there to add some interest. All righty. So the idea of this is not just to get an image down, um, you know, like, like you wouldn't want to take your die cut and then put your die cut on here. You could just do that on a plain piece of paper. The idea is that you've got this beautiful background that you made of all the color and the stenciling, you know, that that we did to create um, all this contrast and texture on here. So the idea is that when you finish collaging, you've got your image here out of your original paper. And that's what's really cool looking. So you could do this on a plain piece of paper um, if you wanted to put down a napkin or an image from a magazine or something like that. But um, I wouldn't, oh, that's good. that's good. I wouldn't use that here because I don't want to cover up my original, my original color of the, the paper that we did, the background paper. That was the point is to see that through, to see that your background paper through in the shape of an image. So it's a very simple, technique, but um, you can make it difficult by the uh, image that you choose. It could be very relaxing, taking your time, just sitting here doing it. It could be very frustrating if you choose something that is way too detailed 
and it's just frustrating trying to get in all the corners. And so as you're doing like going around here, don't worry about trying to cut or tear a piece of paper that's going to go around that whole thing. This one had the right curve just for the point of his beak, so I put it right there. The next one will overlap and get the next, the next little piece. Mm -mm -mm. Angela doesn't own one single circle punch. <laughs> what? That's funny. <laughs> Oh, drawing a circle is the hardest thing in the world. <laughs> oh, yeah, gotta have a circle. You know, point. It's yeah. like, gotta be, that's a circle. That Anything that has to be specific, exactly what it is, like a circle or straight line, those are the more, much more difficult things. Hi, Carrie. How are you? Good to see you. Hi, Sarah. Sarah is here as well. Good to see you guys. So what we're doing is taking um, one of the backgrounds that we made last week, or you could take a piece of scrapbook paper. I would use uh, cardstock that you have that maybe you love the colors, but maybe you don't love the design. You're just never going to use it. Um, or you love the colors and it's the last one left from something and it, it's you know, just kind of sitting there. So we take that because we like the colors of the background and draw or trace or stencil an image on it. So I went around the outside of a toucan stencil here. I didn't draw in all these details and then got some hearts over on the other side. And then we are collaging around our images, whether you drew them or stenciled them. And again, I wouldn't glue on, you know, get a good picture from a magazine and glue it on because then you cover up your background. And this is a way, uh, this is a, not a background that I went, oh, I love that. I don't want to, you know, do anything on top of that and ruin it. But I love the colors uh, and I don't have anything specific in mind for it. Um, a lot of people ask me, what do you do with the gel prints and, you know, the sprayed pages and those things after you do them? Here is a good thing that you can do with them. Love the colors, so I'm going to use it to continue the process of making it into a piece of art. And it'll go into an art journal book. So I will be able to see the colors through in the shape of something else. So I'll still enjoy those colors that I did. But there we go. Um, I'll enjoy the colors that I did, but I won't... Um, I want what? Lost my train of thought, Candy. What's new? What's new, Pussycat? <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's been a rough month already. <laughs> a rough few weeks. Uh, okay. Yeah, you won't destroy the colors. You'll get to enjoy the colors. So you don't want to cover them up completely. But um, you also create a new piece of art instead of continuing to look at this page going, what am I going to do with this? I have no idea. Now I got that song stuck in my head. Margie, <laughs> new earworm. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that song. I do like it. That's why it gets stuck in my head. What's new, pussycat? Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. So I'm just using collage glue. This is just PVA. It's actually just tacky glue that I water down 50-50 with water. I keep some in a jar that I just stick my brush in and use when I'm collaging. And I keep some in a squeeze bottle. You can use any glue you want. I just don't um, feel it necessary to use my expensive glue on something like this. Hmm. Let's see here. Disappointed with squares, pinches, and the measurements are taking corner to corner instead of the sides. Uh, Julie, that I didn't know that either <laughs> until recently. <laughs> a square punch. If it's a two-inch punch, I figured it was a two-inch across 
square and it's not, it's a two inch corner to corner. <laughs> so yeah, I learned that too. Yeah. Therefore, if you need a two inch punch, you have to draw it out on paper or look at your, your grid and then say, okay, how, what is it corner to corner? What do I really need? Yeah, and you do want um, cardstock or a thicker paper for this because your collage medium, <laughs> now Margie's singing it. <laughs> Hi, Angie. <laughs> uh, because your collage, med collage medium is going to, you know, get the paper somewhat wet and you don't want it just turning into a total wrinkle fest because, of, because it's all wet from the glue. All right. Angie, did you wake up to six more inches of snow today? We got we got two, well, probably two to four yesterday, and then woke up to six more today. And it's all going to be gone by April 20. It better be. <laughs> <laughs> it will. For candy, I'll make it gone. You better fire a, a heater or something. <laughs> I expect to see you outside the hotel melting that snow. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good thing our room is inside. <laughs> uh, yeah, we had to drive a couple hours yesterday each way, and we passed accidents all along the way. Oh, that's be not because there was two inches of snow. That's because... It was um, a literal snowstorm all day across the state. And some places were worse than others. We drove through clouds. You go into the cloud, you can't see more than barely the car in front of you. And then you come out of the cloud a few seconds later. Hi, KK. A hotel fire will take care of that snow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. I don't think everybody else knows. Yeah, I'm with you, Dawn. It best be gone, Marianne. <laughs> <laughs> don't any boots anymore. Ah, uh, you don't need boots. The, the, the ground will be a dry and um mm -hmm. she says yeah. that, but I don't know, lady. Yeah, I'm beginning to wonder. So you're just gonna be in the parking lot. We're gonna be singing and and through the snow exactly. and we're <laughs> Uh, does everybody who's not going to retreat know the story of the fire? I don't think they do. Sylvia, I'm not sure they know your joke. Well, don't repeat it because that was just horrid. <laughs> that was the meanest thing I've ever done. Yeah. It wasn't okay. mean. It was funny. <laughs> it, was, it was mean. Oh, I'm sorry. She said the retreat hotel had burned down, ladies. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl. Hi. Hi, Sheila. Spring break. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so it was April Fool's Day. It was April 1st, and we were having um we were having a um retreat conference call, video call. And uh, what's funny is when I scheduled that call, I scheduled it to be Saturday, but I didn't think about the date of Saturday that it was actually April 1st. <laughs> So seeing that it was April 1st, I thought, I got to prank them. I got, I have to prank them. Isn't that kind oh, of. No, no, you didn't. Required? <laughs> oh, so I set it up. No, Candy set it up. Candy, Candy set it up without even knowing it. Um, was having an admin call prior. And Candy said, you look really tired. <laughs> and I thought, oh, perfect setup. Thank you, Candy. So, <laughs> so I said that I was, I was really tired because I only got about two hours of sleep the night before. And uh, she played and us, we, lady. She played yeah, us. when we had the retreat call, I would tell them about it, tell them why and what happened. Um, they all got worried and I said, nobody died. So don't worry, nobody died. You know, but I did play it up. <laughs> I did play it up. I will say that. And um, so we had the retreat call and I told him that in the middle of the night, our, our hotel that we're going to be at burned down. 
Thank you, Sylvia. She's sending you the unicorn sign again. <laughs> I'm with you, Sylvia. I'm with you. Wow, my friends. <laughs> That's what we thought too, Marianne. With wow. friends like that. Do this to us. <laughs> oh, come on. It was funny. Okay. If you did it, you would have thought it was hilarious. <laughs> you got to admit that. If you did it, Candy, you would have thought it was funny. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, we're gonna get you. We're gonna get I you. Know. Oh, shoot! When you least expect it. We're gonna get you. <laughs> I I expect it all the time from you guys. <laughs> I didn't let them suffer long. I I did not. I didn't let them suffer long. I then as soon as they were all suffering and going, what the crap? I said, April Fools. So <laughs> I could have been mean and let it go on for a while and let and let us all try to figure out. Like Sylvia's like, just relocate. Okay, it's three weeks before Sylvia. Hotels. No, are I was thinking. I was thinking. Well, my husband will be happy. He won't have to drive. <laughs> won't have to drive. We'll get a refund. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be happy, but we'll. He'll yeah, be happy. He'll be happy, but he'll be happy. And Rodney's like, crap, Marianne. <laughs> I got my hopes up, Marianne. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sorry, like Rodney. It. So sorry. No, sorry. And no, I, was sorry. Thinking, I, I wasn't, I didn't realize what day it was, but I'm thinking, okay, that this can't is be real. real. And then I was like, well, no, well, maybe. Well, you I don't can't, know. <laughs> can't think of a reason why I would be saying that because you didn't think of April Fool's Day. No, I didn't. I didn't okay. know it was April Fool's. I, was, I wasn't paying attention to the calendar. Right. And I'm just thinking, is she pulling her leg? Why and I was she like, oh. Well, she does look tired. It could be real. Oh, oh well, I just got money back. <laughs> About that time, she, you know, she revealed that it was fake. <laughs> oh. April Fools. <laughs> well, one of us had a good day. One of us had fun. <laughs> Wasn't Rodney? <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> really. Glennis, Glennis broke her heart. That's what it made. Would, yeah, I was like, I was, and all I think was, well, Ronnie would be happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of those trips we got to make, right? Now. It was the Glennises that I couldn't let it go on. If it was you, I could have let it gone on for a while because to get all Rod Rodney all built up and then tell him April Fools. <laughs> but it was for the Glennises that were truly brokenhearted that I didn't Penny. want to hurt God, them. You just, you, just, you, you, you. Oh, I know. I you saw Penny. Back her. <laughs> That's why I said Penny. Are you okay afterwards? Because I saw her face. <laughs> oh, and all she was thinking about was, oh my God, those plane tickets because they're not refundable. <laughs> oh, I thought, yeah, I, I thought Penny's either going to have a heart attack or she's coming after me. I think and she might after. still, I don't know. <laughs> I, was say, I think she's coming after you. <laughs> she might. She was, Penny was not happy camper. <laughs> Oh, but I don't care who you are. It was funny. <laughs> Poor I don't care who you are. It wasn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Cheryl, did you get hit by the tornado? Oh, I hope not. We missed it. missed us, though. So. Oh, man. Harlan. Uh, she's not in Harlan, is she? No. Um, no, I don't think she is, but... Uh, Cheryl, it sounds like she might have gotten at least the perimeter of it, but I, I missed some comments there. Um, so maybe it was a tornado. I don't know. We were driving home and Doug saw a notification and he says, well, either a tornado or a hurricane. He says, is now a cat five. And I couldn't remember what you said, a tornado or a hurricane. That's why I asked you if there was a hurricane somewhere. Uh, not that I know of. I don't. Oh, know. California got snowed. In. Southern California got snowed again. <laughs> so get ready, Arizona. It's your turn for snow. Yes, it is. Southern California and Arizona are getting snow. You know, the world's coming to an end. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, that just makes me start singing. Um, rains rains rain when it rains in california doesn't rain in california but man it pours <laughs> yeah those monsoons are killer those monsoons can be as bad as a um 
a, a light tornado or a hurricane in, in a different fashion, but is but is destructive. Yeah. It's crazy. They can be so destructive and people get killed every time there's a monsoon. And the biggest problem is because they're, well, I will say idiots and not my word because <laughs> there will be places, monsoons in Arizona, the, there are, um, roads and flood areas that they just fill up and get flooded with water and people think they can just drive through them because they have a truck or whatever you know it's not that bad yet i can get through it they drive through it and they get stuck in the middle because the water's up over their door it happens all the time then they have to come be rescued by helicopter so arizona enacted the idiot law <laughs> i'm not kidding if you have to be rescued by helicopter in that situation, you pay for it <laughs> because you're an idiot because it's marked. Don't cross here when flooding. <laughs> you know? But it's not flooding yet. What well, is almost? Yeah. Oh, almost. no, it is. If, if there's water on the road, if there's, you know, like if the, the, like the road dips down. Yeah. And the thing is, when it's filled with water, you can't see how deep it no, is. Yeah at all and they think i know this road i can get through that i've got a truck four wheel drive it's high whatever you know and they just go through or they think i'll go really really fast and get right through they go fast and the water shoots up everywhere and covers their engine and floods them out and then the, then they can't get out and that water rushes so fast downstream that if you get out of the you got to get out of the vehicle or you're going to drown but they get out of the vehicle and try to walk to the edge, walk to the bank. And then they end up getting swept away by it. And that's people die all the time by that. And so the, the trick is to get out of the vehicle and on top of it and stand up there waiting for the helicopter. And just know that you're going to be on the news and everybody's going to know that you're the idiot that's paying this time. Because, yeah, and they called it the, the idiot law, <laughs> That's funny. which it is funny, but it's so true. It's like everybody, you see them on the news and you're like, oh, you just want them to be saved. And then you're like, how stupid. <laughs> you, know? you know, it's one thing when it's a, it's somebody that doesn't, it's not from there, but when they're right. from there. Just driving there. through. But when you live in the area and this happens, <laughs> happens every year. The monsoons happen every year. <laughs> Angie's in an area, uh, not Angie, Dawn is in an area where she sees a lot of that. Uh, as far as relocating to hotels, I know the corporate offices extend goodwill. My sister-in-law ran all of the properties for Nevada and other states. It's standard procedure. Oh, well, that, you know, and we might, we might get a little more sympathy because the hotel burned down. That is true. Um, but I will if say. already got stuff scheduled and they can't. Then they can't. Right. And that's the um, that's the the difficult part is being this close. They already have things scheduled. Um, the other thing is the area that we're going. I specifically wanted to be right in this area, that shopping center, so close to my house and everything that we need. If I have to run home and get something, you know, it's right here. Um, and I did talk to all the hotels right there. Uh, there are three or four. I don't remember right now. And there's only one other hotel in that complex that actually has a conference room. And their conference room is way too small for us. So this of those four, this was the only one that could accommodate us. And I thought that doesn't matter because it's perfect for us. Uh, what glue am I using? And did it come in that great bottle? It did not. It is a tacky glue. All it is is tacky glue. And I do it 50-50 with water. I do keep some in a jar, a jar like this, just, you know, a little canning jar. I keep that full with a lid on it. And when I'm collaging, I can just take it out and brush it all across my paper. When doing very specific collaging like this, I will use it from my squeeze bottle um, because it's easier to control right where it goes. It did not come in this great bottle. This is a, um, what is it? Sweet Bell. I can get, I don't Sugar have a Sugar Bell. It's for, you know, if you're, it's like for cake decorating and stuff. I don't have any of them right now in stock. We sold them last year, 
but I can get them. I absolutely can get them, um, you know, within a week. So if, if several people want these, yeah, sweet sugar bell, it says right there. Um, if people want those, let me know. I'll go ahead and put some on my next order. Because I'll have uh, I'll have several orders with them coming up. I order from the place that I get a lot of the different companies. They stock them all for us. Um, I order from them uh, at least every other week. So when you want something like that, if you tell me, you know, it's probably only going to be a week at the most before I order it. Sometimes I'm just about ready to submit the order, so I add it on, and then it'll be here within a week. Um, so, yeah, I mean, a lot of you already know that. You just message me and say, hey, can you get this? And I add it on. So, so yeah, we absolutely can get those. They're, they are awesome. They, ha they are truly awesome. And with that tacky glue watered down 50-50, it comes out of that spout super easily. And it's very controllable. Super nice. Let's see. Glad they can handle all of us cray cray artists. Yes. <laughs> yes. They can handle us and they are excited to have us. They um they are really looking forward to us. They need a little cray cray no. in their life. They need a little cray cray in their life. That's you know. <laughs> I told them, get ready. Hold on to your hats. <laughs> I said, you know, the and the the front desk staff are, are really great. And I said, you know, if somebody walks out here and says, here, I made this for you, don't be surprised because that's just what we do. You know, so you're just going to love, you're just going to love these ladies. Craziest group of fun you'll ever see. <clears throat> All righty. Oopsie. This is the little spot in here. Got to try to get... Put some little pieces. Little pieces. Word, my word, my word. What was I thinking? <laughs> Do it a fairy. <clears throat> yeah. Can you get her a big enough outline that you can just go around, or does she have lots of little yeah, parts? She wants to get, they want the bottles. So, okay. We're not going to take pre order. She'll order a bunch nope. of them. We'll them yep, exactly. We're not going to. Yeah. No, and, and it's something I can get all the time unless they quit making them. <laughs> Be careful saying that because I don't control that. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and order some. In fact, I have an order on the way from them, so I'm starting a new one right now. My cart always has stuff in it. Yeah, we were shopping last night, ladies. <laughs> Candy will be like, ooh, have you seen this? And I'm like, oh, no, we need that. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, look at this. <laughs> I think we need goes, that. Too. And she goes, oh, I can't get those. You might want to buy that one. <laughs> yeah. like, okay. That one's out of stock. <laughs> that one is discontinued. So if you see it, grab yeah, it. Yeah, a few here left. Want I'm going to grab it then. Yep. <laughs> And if I can get it, I'll always get it for you. And, you know, a BHPP price. But if it's discontinued and they don't have it anymore, then I'll tell you. Grab it wherever you can. Let's see. A little more. So I take several pieces and they're overlapping. And, you know, to get in here and get this covered. But we'll, we'll get it. We'll get a nice, clean little lined kind of sort of area here so you'll be able to tell he has actual feet legs uh oh do i have a youtube open i don't i think i remember to check no what? are you hearing that no you weren't hearing the feedback no i didn't hear anything okay i'm deaf though i was hearing myself i'm still I'm hearing still myself about a second behind do you yeah, guys with Margie. I thought about doing that and cheating, but I didn't want to do that to her. <laughs> it would be her to do a big collage page and then cut it out, cut out the image, and then put it, put it around the image you have on your paper. <laughs> yeah, but then it's obvious that the image is on top of the collage, and the collage isn't creating this. Uh, this is more difficult, and you're you feel more accomplished as an artist. <laughs> okay, sure. Okay. You're bringing out an image out of what's underneath it instead of just throwing an image on top. 
yes, it would be easier. And you can do it however you want. <laughs> and actually, it's not my technique. I, I, it's been around. I mean, this is not a new technique. Not a new technique, and I didn't create it. There, I think there's very little that we actually create. There's been times when I've had a what I thought was a great idea, and I'm like, oh, this sounds like a great idea. And then I go do it, and then Margie's like, oh yeah, we did that 20 years ago. <laughs> oh well, so much for my great idea. Party pooper. She's yeah. blaming you, Margie, as being no. party pooper. You know, there's not much new. There's not. We might there's think of something. Somebody else thought of it a long time ago. There just isn't much new. Um. So yeah, you know, it's no big deal. We just do what we do and enjoy it. All right. Took so long to get that little piece of blue dried. The last little piece in there so that it's, I think, I hope it's the last little piece in there. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm done. With the whole thing? No, with the little pieces. Oh, with the little piece, yeah. There's that last, oh, and I've got this little bit oh, right here. Right there. Damn but <laughs> that's why, oops, I got the other foot. <laughs> I only had one foot. I had two hands. Uh, she's a one-footed fairy. <laughs> well, they're together. They're kind of. She's in a pose. Does she have a peg leg? <laughs> she's in that ballet pose, you know. Oh yeah. Oh, whatever it was. Oh, my bird last night looked like he had a peg leg. <laughs> yeah, because she drew one. <laughs> you gotta get that one. See, it was funny. <laughs> oh, it was funny. I was so tired. <laughs> I was like, can you go to bed, Marianne? And she just kept going. I said, go to bed, Marianne. <laughs> I'm like, go. I'm going to bed. <laughs> and she draw a leg. <laughs> <laughs> a pig. Not a good idea, Marianne. It's not a good idea. <laughs> oh, man. No, it was a sad bird. The bird was like, go to bed, Marianne. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Oopsie. Give me a complex. Really? <laughs> I'm sorry, Barty. I created you to begin with, so <laughs> I drew him and I shouldn't have. That was my first mistake. No, the, he was fine. It was the feet. <laughs> That's true. It was the feet. It was the feet. <laughs> that did him in. It was the feet. That did him in. Uh, it was cute okay. feet. He did the feet. <laughs> All right, so I got between the feet right there, which will make sense once everything else is done, I hope. And and I might draw the foot, his the leg coming over the top of that. We'll see afterwards. But I don't want to add much pan. I could add some, you know, maybe I need a little detail with feathers. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how he be. Okay. All right, so this week is going to be full of getting all the orders out and getting stuff packed for retreat. I've already started packing because I have to take like, you know, a craft room and a half. <laughs> this is just one technique, and that's why I said... Take a background where you love the colors, but maybe the background itself isn't speaking to you quite so much and and use it so that you can enjoy the colors in something here. It's just one more technique for a page in your art journal. Doesn't mean it's the only way, doesn't mean it's the best way. But we have... We are all different people and we like different things. So we need lots of different techniques so that we all find multiple things that we love. Because I assume you're like me and I just don't want to do the same thing over and over in my art journal. What I would like to do is try new things all the time so I can see how techniques work or if I like them. I might try it and say, I don't really care for that technique and I don't do it again. But... If I don't try it, I don't know. Uh, 
Alrighty. Let's see. Let's get in here and we'll see the Anybody watching anything good on TV? Any good series? No. <laughs> Anybody have a good series to recommend? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't watch a lot of TV, though. I'd rather be in here watching YouTube. Well, not that I... No, I didn't even know I don't have that. time to do that either, but I'm always in here doing work. And, but I'd rather be in here crafting, but... But you know, sometimes I'm watching watch. sports or something. I'm like, oh, mm. reality, reality. Hi, Cheryl. Thanks for stopping in. Um, yeah, sometimes with the hubby, you know, need to sit down and watch something together. And hey, and hey, Marianne, what time do you want me to meet you at the hotel on the twentieth? Um, we need to send her a PM. We don't need to yeah. know in chat. Right. <laughs> I was just going to say that. Angie, send me a PM because we need to talk. Glenda <laughs> says, is my box full? I think I have too much to fly with. <laughs> Who is that? Glennis. Glennis. Oh, um, Glennis, you've got more than a box full. I, for everybody who's coming to retreat, I'm just going to bring everything I have for you. I'm not going to ship it. And that way you'll have a bunch of cool stuff to play with there. Because you've got some neat things and you don't want to buy them again there if you've already got them, if you already bought them. So you'll have all your stuff. Um, take back what you want. And what you want we'll just ship. Instead of shipping it ahead, we'll ship it after. Yeah. So, yeah, Glennis, you've got a huge box. <laughs> yes, you do. Y'all do. Right now, the most of the stuff that is packed for retreat is just the stuff that's coming for you guys and the stuff, you know, that I'm bringing to use and um, to give you and things like that. And there is more, there is more, um, there's more stuff packed. The whole landing at, by the front door is just boxes that have everybody's names on them. Glennis, Sandy, Candy, you know, everybody's names. I don't have anything. Oh no, yours is still sitting out out um, open. <laughs> I, have a, I have pictures in a closed box. What you're talking about, Marianne? I don't know. Where, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know all that stuff for your birthday that I was giving you. <laughs> That's yeah. what. <laughs> I did not do any two a.m. shopping. I did not. No. <laughs> Well, if you did, I didn't write anything down. So, <laughs> so in my book, you didn't do any two a.m. shopping. And then she gets it. She goes, "Did we order this?" I'm like, "I think we did." <laughs> I'll take one. <laughs> did, you, did you tell me to order this, Candy? <laughs> I don't know, Marianne. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't, I don't know this. So you must have told me to order this. <laughs> yeah, because she was up my like, What? What the hell is this? She goes. You told me about it. I, said, well, I don't remember what it was. Yeah, you're the one that <laughs> said to go look it up. This. You got to try it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never even heard it. You said go here and watch, see what it is, and we got to try this. So I ordered it, and now I, I'm dying to try it because yeah, it, we'll do it on a live. I uh, got to wait till Candy gets. I saw it, and she put it on my thing. I'm like, what the hell is that? <laughs> we'll do it on a live so that um, if we really like it, then. We'll order a bunch because it looks really cool. And it also will be a way to use um, something else that people keep asking me. How do we use this? And we I just haven't had time to work that in as a as a live or tutorial. So, yeah, that that's going to be a good one. I'm excited about that one. But I've never heard of it until you said so. I know that you I know that was your fault. Sure. I love saying you can blame Candy for this one. She's the one that showed it to me. <laughs> it's her fault. I like it and ordered it. <laughs> she says it too loud, though, lady. She says it too loud. And Ronnie hears it. I can't have that. <laughs> I didn't say that Candy got it. She just made me order it and me pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. Hmm. Sonic slush. I was just giving an idea for those who may wish to do this a different way. What? Oh, uh, no. Nope. Uh, yeah, Glennis, do you have room for carrying your suitcase? I'm going to go back here. Uh, 
Uh, mm -mm. Uh, Carrie watches us. I love it. Thank you, Carrie. You know, sharing ideas is fun because what might not, what might be frustrating to me might be relaxing to you. And what you might enjoy or might not enjoy, I might love, I, you know. Yeah, no, Margie has some of the best ideas ever. You guys just wait until you see the things that Margie made for the fundraiser sale at retreat. I was blown away. Yeah. Oh, Sarah likes this technique very much. Awesome. Um, and the more I've done it, the more I see that it is funner and I like the results better, the more funner. general funner. the outline is. What? It's funner, ladies. Oh, yeah, funner. <laughs> I'm still tired. <laughs> it oh, is man. more fun. I'm a tired card, ladies. Oh, please. <laughs> uh, well, you guys use the Blame Marianne card. I can use tired now and then. <laughs> now, man, you're using it way too much. <laughs> well, it's been a tired month, let me tell you. <laughs> um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, it's way more fun. It is way more easy, way easier, <laughs> and way more relaxing to do if you use um, general outlines that are not super specific um, images. Like a fairy. <laughs> like a fairy. Those just get, for me, those get really frustrating because they're very tedious and I can't get through them very quickly. And so I'm not seeing any progress. And yeah, they're... So it's just a little harder to do. But if you um, have something, now I'm hearing myself echo again. I hate that. <laughs> Are you not hearing it? I don't hear it. Oh. Um, yeah, so very, very general. Like, like Linda drew two birds. And that would be perfect. A bird over here, a bird over here, maybe facing each other. Just the general outline. That's exactly the concept. I like these hearts, you know, whatever things, um, those, they just are easier to do. And I don't know, we sometimes like complicated art because, but we don't always like difficult art. So if you're not into difficult art, be careful about getting something too detailed. KK, your box is not full. Oh, okay. more, more stuff. I can help you with that, KK. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, your box, it is truly not full, KK, and I just hate to waste your shipping. <laughs> um, if there's any paper that you need or, oh, geez, mediums. We got, uh, I got so much stuff. Oh, I got so much stuff. Maybe when everything is finally all set up, I'll do a a walking tour with the camera through the shop area and just say, this is this, this is this, this is this. And then you can say, I want that. And I need that one. And Candy can write it all down <laughs> and we'll be the, it'll be the biggest mix up mashup sale <laughs> we've ever had. Oh, that would be a nightmare. Wouldn't it Candy? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, did you hear her stop breathing there for a second? Yeah. I'm like, okay. I did. <laughs> I'm going to go, take, I'm gonna go on vacation right before you do that. <laughs> uh, not, we're not doing that before retreat. No way. Get, uh, uh, we'll get, oh, we'll get Sandy to do it. <laughs> Are you here yet, Sandy? She was getting her hair cut earlier. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> she said she'd be late. So if you're late um, to the party, that means you get to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy's like, oh, that's a big fat no. no. <laughs> <laughs> big fat no. Glennis will do it. Glennis ain't afraid. <laughs> Glennis uh -huh. ain't afraid of nothing. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. He's afraid of the stove. <laughs> <laughs> Linda would do it. Linda would help me. <laughs> I still have a few friends. Hide, hide. hide. <laughs> Uh, have you guys Grandma, seen Grandma? You, guys... you are so silly. I left her then. I am mastering this grandma thing. That's more fun. I oh, nice! Her, I'm mastering the grandma thing. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I was an adult quick too. Seven dollars. You're cheap, Sylvia. 
<laughs> it's more funner to be sillier and be a kid. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sylvia, you're cheap. Um, I do have some new Chow Bella. KK, I do have some. We have some Chow Bella. There's just, I have so much new stuff that we have literally not had a time to even bring it all out at a sale and got brand new Stamperia yesterday. It arrived yesterday. Oh. It was here when I got back in town. So, um, oh, 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 this is Magic Forest Antonio's. Brand, Antonis. Antonis is brand new line. If you've seen that, Magic Forest, Stamperia, that Antonis designed. It's, it's very pretty. Yeah, that's what this is that just arrived yesterday. Yeah, it's Andy's fault. I ordered it. <laughs> oh, it's not very good, Ken. You're not going to like it. Oh, good. I was like, good. I won't like it. Let me see it. You, you lying. <laughs> I'm trying to help her not spend money. Tell her she won't like it. So just, you know, ignore it. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. It's got Griffins in it. I was like, oh, my word. Yes. Yeah, that worked for about a second. Yeah, not even a second. <laughs> no, not even. <laughs> oh, man. Sylvia may be cheap, but she ain't free. No, Sylvia may be cheap, but she ain't easy. <laughs> I may be cheap, but I ain't easy. Margie needs magic forest. Please show it. Yeah. Glenna says, oh, man, I think my body labor is way more expensive <laughs> than her word labor. <laughs> yeah, he did a great video on it. Well, ladies, you can blame me because I won't be here to do the invoices. So, <laughs> yes, the way. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Well, let's see. We might, uh, hmm. we might be able to take it over to retreat and, and show it, do a box opening there. I haven't even opened the box, so just have Doug carry the whole big old heavy box over and uh, open it there. We might be able to. Okay, let's see here. This is perfect. I'm surprised at how many of these pieces of paper have the curve already torn in them exactly as I need like to go around. When you get something big like these hearts or the bird, it's just such a natural curve that you tear a paper and it gets that kind of curve. Easy enough. And now I just want to smack you. Me? Yeah. Well, I'm not doing fairy feet or fairy wings. I can only imagine. Curve. You just get that easy curve. Smack. Well, I can imagine what the fairy oh, right. curves are doing to you. That's why I don't have a fairy on my page. <laughs> don't want a face on the page. <laughs> I thought about putting a face on the page, but we'll do a face with a different technique. Oh, well, yeah. we'll do a face with a different technique. Yeah, they do so few sets with critters, so it is nice when they come in. Um, okay, Kay's wanting new indigo, and there's one with boats and fish outdoorsy. Oh, somebody else wants the new indigo, too. I think that was Elisa. Um, I don't... Oh, so that just came out uh, since I got that order, so I, would I will need to order. Uh, yeah, I know people want that indigo, so I will need to order that. I'll do that. I'll do that, KK. Indigo, which one's indigo? Chow Bella. Oh my god, I know. Yeah, you're like indigo. If it's anything like that color, pfft, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> right. I'm in. I know. I know. Yeah, she she says, Do you have in. I think it was somebody first said, you know, messaged me and said, Do you have indigo? And I'm like, What? <laughs> it is. I'm glad you guys do that because it is super hard for me to keep, keep up. up. With yeah. every company and all their releases. And they all send me emails on their release, on pre-release. I get so flippant many emails between all the directions that I get emails from that it's easy for me to miss, you know, a cool release like that or not see it until it's on top of it, you know, on time. Um, yeah, it's hard to keep up with those. There's so many, so many companies. And then somebody... 
you go say, oh, here's a cool company. Have you seen this one? Oh, my goodness. Look at this stamp from Lavinia. <sighs> <laughs> then I have to go get an account with Lavinia. And now, oh, my goodness. Have you guys seen Lavinia stamps? Well, yeah, they're in the no, UK. Don't go look, ladies. They're in the UK, so you probably don't want to order. But I will order bulk. So they're, yeah. They have some very, very cool stamps. And uh, <sighs> problem is when I like them as much as she does, and she knows I'm going to like it. So she's like, look at this. <laughs> and I'm like, dang it. <laughs> uh, All right, I got to add these. What do you do when you can't sleep? Shop. <laughs> <laughs> Shop. <laughs> Chat. Craft. Sandy's here. Um, hey, she, Sandy. She just got here, so she missed my, uh, she missed my comment. <laughs> you missed what Candy committed you for. <laughs> or committed you to, maybe I should say. <laughs> yeah, your, your friend, Candy committed you <laughs> to do something that you're not going to like. <laughs> nah, I would never do that to her, but that'd be funny. <laughs> uh, oh, you, look what I found. I found this. This was an address book and it's got Edith Holden. Oh, in it. wow. Sweet. That is very cool. In German, mind you. Ooh, even better. Have I showed you guys, shown you guys the Edith Holden pin I have? I don't know. I picked this up in an estate sale. I didn't even know there was an Edith Holden tin. Wait a minute, let me get my gluey hands washed just a little bit here. So I'm doing that fiddly corner. I'll grab it. No one likes a snitch. <laughs> I have to snitch because I'm the one that's going to have to be saying, Sandy, it's time. <laughs> uh, Sandy has one of those too, Candy. That I is cool. I was like, Woo. That is very cool. I Yeah, I didn't even know there was such a thing. And did you know there was such a thing as an Edith Holden tin? Oh, I've seen that. I think I showed this oh, to Edmund one time when I first got it. Oh, I seen a different one, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. My Edith Holden tin that I picked up at an estate sale. I'm like, oh, I'd like that, please. And then the top. Pretty cool. That's pretty. I like it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Let's see your angel. Oh, your angel. Your fairy. Oh, I see her. I see her. She's coming along. Yeah, those little tiny fiddly parts are, are hard. We're a pain in the butt. <laughs> That's putting it mild, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was trying to be mild. <laughs> I don't know the meaning of that word. I know. <laughs> so one of us has to. You trying to imply something? No, I'm just agreeing with you. I always agree with Candy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whatever okay. Candy says, I always agree with her. Right? <laughs> My DH's ashes could go in there. Yes. It is beautiful, isn't it? Hi, Elisa. Oh, no, Elisa has for one that. too. No, yeah, it's too pretty for that. Yeah. Well, at least she'll enjoy looking at it and not be irritated that it's taking space on the shelf. Candy, what is your, what? Oh, your tin is different, but it's got the same kind of Edith Holden stuff on it. No, I didn't. I don't have it. I said I've seen one. Oh, you've seen. Know. Okay. I don't think it was that one. Elisa has one and hers is different. Yeah, I was, I, I've seen one, but I don't think I saw that one. That is very cool. I think I showed it to admin when I first got it, but that's been a while. Oh, maybe it was you. I don't know. <laughs> Just don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't care. 
can't remember all that stuff. Oh man. Okay. It is hard to remember all this stuff. All right, I'm getting around this big heart. Now I'm looking at that little heart going, oh, that's going to be a little more fiddly. So, yeah, the, the larger the <laughs> the larger your image is, it's not necessarily large. It's um, it's the less corners and in betweens and little bitty stuff. The, the better off you'll be. The more you'll like it. I think. Um, pulling that paper up because yeah it's the getting in between the feet like this that uh, takes a bit of time it's fiddly you got to tear little teeny tiny pieces but going around these you're just filling the big spaces fill all the negative space um, and then I'm going to wait till I'm all done then go back and trim around the edge and that's when it really really jumps out all right Let's see. I've just been using a lot of that. I'm going to go back over it, though, afterwards and put some of this gold um, tissue paper from last month's subscription box. Oh, that's I pretty think right. That's going to look really cool over it. That's a good idea. I think so. I hope so. Let's see. Yeah, that'll be perfect right there. Well, I can get when I can get a piece that can go like down the whole strip of the heart or around the whole curve, although it's too big, it's, it's imposing on the other heart. We can't be having that. Okay, that's why you have a brush, not your fingers. All right, and that one go right there. Do you have Charlie? What? Do you have Charlie? No, not yet. We gotta go pick him up tomorrow. Okay. Then you leave Friday? No, we leave Thursday. So I gotta Thursday. drive an hour and a half to go get him and then an hour and a half back. I am one day off of everything this week. <laughs> Shoot. So yeah, a lot of driving tomorrow, not time to pack, and then take off on Thursday. Yeah, no. no, she's not making me happy. Yeah, it'll be a fun week though with the boys. Okay, I can I tell you, I'm not looking forward to traveling in the car with them for that long. Okay, just saying, um, just saying. And then being stuck in a hotel room with them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, really looking forward to the time with Eric. Well, not necessarily looking forward to the car ride with Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> My sister's like all excited because she gets to meet him, you know. Yeah, Benadryl. <laughs> <laughs> Just be one of those grandparents for this weekend. I'm <laughs> just, thinking I might have to <laughs> just the travel day. Only the travel day you want him to arrive a happy camper. <laughs> no, he, he's been doing really well in the car, so we'll yeah. see. Yeah. But the little turd, I bought some. Now, he likes applesauce, ladies. Right. He eats it out of the little cups, but I can't have those in the car. Yeah. So I bought him some of the applesauce in a in the pouch, in right? Oh, he right. He will not even try it. <gasps> really? No. He'll eat a go-gurt, but he won't try that applesauce. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> well, then I'm sorry you don't get anything. So it, I took it out of your I took it out of your cup and I put it in here so you could take it in the car. Oh, you cannot so take that one in the car. So Which one do you want? He might want her in the car. He just wouldn't eat them here. Yeah. In the car, they'll eat anything. <laughs> what? I need food. Okay. This what you got. Throw yep. fit. All you got. All you yep. got. All you got. Exactly. <laughs> Choices are minimal on the drive. You don't want to freak out Grandpa Rodney <laughs> with food all over his car. Yeah. I, I can see that one. I, 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 I drove to Pennsylvania from Arkansas with the kids by myself for the first time when they were like three and or two and four. Two and four. Uh-huh. And uh, and I'm driving down the road. This is after I've already stopped in, at a gas station and whipped their ass, put them back in the car seat because they got out of their car seat. <laughs> 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 and 
And uh, so I'm driving, we stopped for lunch. I let them play and, and I made the mistake of taking the stuff with it, you know, because they, they had nuggets and whatnot. Oh, sure. And I was like, I'll just take, they can eat nuggets in the car, you know. Yeah, I'm driving down the road a little bit later and I see something in my rear view mirror and I'm like, what was that? Yeah, they were throwing nuggets back and forth. <laughs> That's funny. I was like, you little shits. <laughs> funny. <laughs> that was uh, like an 18 hour drive. <laughs> oh, wow. That is a long way. Long way. Margie would prefer cats to birds over here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, they're really liking what we're doing, both of us. Uh, 23 watching and only 13 thumbs up. We could use a couple more. Oh, I forgot mine. I gotta go do it. Hold on. Harry's hold getting on. serious FOMO around missing retreat. Is there a patch for that? Or a pill or something? <laughs> um, 14 now. Um, well, uh, no, no, no applesauce for you, Sandy. <laughs> Oh, Carrie. I got, I got um, Jack's Hard Lemonade for you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Carrie, Not if, if there was a miracle way to make it happen, I would open up another spot for you. I could make that happen. What's the nearest airport to Carrie? Carrie, I know you're over on the East Coast. What's the nearest airport to you? I don't know. I don't even know. Probably, I don't know. Are you above New York? How, I don't know. I don't know where she is. I just know she's on the east end of bringing crumbly cooks and cookies and crackers. <laughs> Sandy's already ready to uh, get under Rodney's skin. She's bringling, bringling uh, crumbly cookies and crackers for the car ride. <laughs> I don't want to bother him. Are you serious? Mm -mm. I won't bother him. He's not. No. He's not now, to get when I eat fries and drop a fry, that bothers him. I'm like, we'll just get the him crumbs, on the top. Jesus. The crumbs won't bother him and it, he doesn't get OCD about car? No. No, the crumbs won't bother him too bad. Wow. I'm surprised. His whistling's going to bother you, though, Sandy. <laughs> So we can both be giving him the eagle eye. The evil eye. Oh, the evil eye. Like that. That's funny. Oh, man. oh, have you ever watched um Whose Line Is It Anyway when B Wayne Brady and some of them oh, so make up songs? Yeah. They amaze me. <laughs> That's what I do around here. Doug will say something and it will just sound funny to me and I'll start making up a song about it. Yeah, he's like, he's looking at me like what? <laughs> and and when he and here's the other thing, sometimes he says he's making it up, but I really think he thinks those are the worst. Songs. <laughs> like you mean like <laughs> yeah, like the I'm a, I'm a nympho. Yeah, <laughs> we, were, we were at a friend's house one night, and I had loaded mm -hmm. up his, his little uh, Walkman to for way back in, in the day. No, it wasn't too long. I, we still have them. I have my oh, really? Yeah, really? yeah well, I love them. I love them. Um, and I use it when I walk. But he had he had one, and uh, I loaded it up with some songs for him. And uh, we're sitting at the friend's house, and he goes, "Yeah, she put this. I love this song." And she, it's uh, he goes, "I can't think of the name of it, but it's, it's, she says I'm a nympho." And I'm like, "I didn't. There's. I didn't load a song for you that says I'm a nympho. Why would I do that?" <laughs> <laughs> and he goes. And I said, what song? He goes, I don't know. You put it on there. I said, okay, so it has to be a song that you asked for that I didn't, that no. I didn't, that I don't listen to. Cause I'm like, I don't know of any song that says anything close to info. the info. <laughs> and I'm, I'm thinking, and I'm thinking about five minutes later, I'm going, oh, oh, it's the heart killer song. He goes, no, it's not. I said, yeah, it is. So I'm on my phone looking for it. And he goes, he goes, and she doesn't say I'm an info. He goes, yes, she does. I said, no, no, no. I'm sure, pretty sure she doesn't. And so we listened to it and he's, he goes, Oh yeah, that's the song. And I said, okay, where's does he, she say, I'm a nympho. And he goes, Oh, right there. And I said, she says, I'm a mean foe. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Either way it applies to you though, right? <laughs> no, no, not even oh. close. Mean foe applies to me. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh man. I'll argue with you. No, -uh, she said no, no, I'm pretty sure she doesn't. 
so we should uh never mind i won't go there <laughs> wow you better stop and take lunch you just worked through your lunch hour again well i, I just i didn't even realize what time it was yeah Let's see it there well oh i went on like that that is really too funny he's something else <laughs> Uh, and we are screen printing HPP t-shirts there. So those who aren't at retreat, you'll get to see them. We're not going to show them to the group until we do them at retreat. Everybody's bringing their own t-shirts so they get what they want. And um, we'll screen print them. And then on one of our lives, we'll show the t-shirts. Everybody can wear them for one of the lives. And Yeah, I got mine done. I just need to heat set them. I'll figure out the easier with the heat press. It's easier than oh, yeah. Much easier. Much easier with the heat press. So some things we're all for doing the easy way. <laughs> like heat setting. They're going to be cool, though. Candy did a great job of making the stencil for that. Mm. Uh, they look cool. It came out pretty good. That last batch I did came out great. The uh, self, the uh, adhesive spray helps a lot to keep it from moving or bleeding. Carrie, I'll tell him hi. <laughs> uh, swapped my most my most used paints with my spare glues and mediums, and so far a lot happier. I don't understand swapped paints with glues and mediums. I love that show. Watch them on YouTube. They are hilarious, aren't they, Sylvia? I would love the opportunity to riff like that with Wayne Brady. Uh, that would be so much fun. He cracks it up. Yeah, they're so talented. It's not even funny. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he is. The man can sing. He can dance. He can talk. He can, yeah. Yeah. He can let's make a deal. <laughs> he oh, does yeah, it all. Funny. funny. He does it all. That tall, skinny guy. Oh, the, Ryan. Yeah, he's funny, too. Yeah. Yeah, he is. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, how do they come up with that stuff He's so quick? He's got a perfect face and nose for so many things. He does, you know, makes the faces and out of the impressions. Yeah. And then there's Colin, who's like, looks like he's um, so uh, stiff and, and yeah. You know, and then and then he'll break out something awesome. Yeah, that was a good show. Yeah. I don't even know if it's still on. I think I've seen some reruns, but I don't think it's still on. I used to watch it all the time, and after we moved, I haven't had time to watch anything. And I think mine's done as far as... Sylvia's judgmental daughter told her that she couldn't sing in her car unless she knew the words to the songs. So I would make them up. Haven't been in her car since 2018. <laughs> Uh, like, tell me I can't do something. I'm going to be freaking doing it all the time. Really? <laughs> oh, that is too funny. <laughs> I just think he's funny when he already. No, that's what he said. No. That is what it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, sometimes it is truly hard to tell what the, what they're saying. Yeah, is, but and, he doesn't even. It's not even yeah. close sometimes when he. Like, I, I kind of <laughs> got mean, though. I did. I kind of got it. But I was like. No, no, no. It doesn't make sense with the rest of the song either. I'm right. like, well, you know, well, I was the right out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> having to do with nothing. <laughs> because well, no, that's your mind. <laughs> yeah, because that's what I want to hear, dang it. <laughs> uh, uh, Mass Singer. No, I didn't I didn't watch Mass Singer. Oh, I did watch um one or two seasons of the Mass Singer. If Wayne was on there, he won. Uh, I can imagine yes. Wayne got a good voice. Haven't had time to go back to watch more seasons. The, I did like that, actually, honestly. Anybody else not going to retreat want to join my club called the League of Extraordinary Losers? <laughs> Who was that, Sylvia? Carrie. Oh, Carrie. <laughs> Carrie. Uh, <laughs> no loser. Uh, no, no losers in this club. Even the losers that join are, are then no longer losers. <laughs> We don't do loser. That's funny. Well, I don't know. Carrie, have, I um, looked Pearson. Somebody look up flights from Pearson to Salt Lake City. Pearson Airport. 
Toronto. See what they are. We'll put out a GoFundMe for Carrie to get to retreat. <laughs> She'd get money. Uh, people, she probably would get money. People get money for crazy with this. I'm like, people, I'm like, okay, silly things. And this is kind of an important thing to save her sanity. <laughs> Julia, so I'm doing something different. No, she's doing the same thing. She's just using different things to collage with than I am. I'm using kind of all book pages, newspaper pages, because then I'm going to do something over the top of it. But um, she's doing the same technique. The same technique she is. So I might have to beat her into submission to get her to do the same technique, but she's doing the same technique. Yes. Oh, man. God. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's about time you realize that, Candy. <laughs> okay. You 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 you've obviously you need to get some sleep. <laughs> you 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 you. <laughs> you've just crunched my last nerve, lady. <laughs> That's what she wanted to say to me. <laughs> I used to say to the kids, "You've worked my last nerve." God dang it! Last nerve. You've just pinched my, my last nerve. <laughs> and then my six-year-old son goes, "I thought we did that yesterday, mom." <laughs> Yeah, well, it regenerates while I sleep for you. Yeah. Lucky, yeah. lucky for you. <laughs> lucky for you. You little shit. Oh, that means we can do it again every day? <laughs> yeah. Uh, nope, because after three days, it doesn't regenerate. <laughs> Don't tell them that. Then there's a reason to try to do it. <laughs> dead meat. Three days in a row, and you are dead meat. <laughs> uh. Okay, this is my, it takes a while, but I'm just totally enjoying this. We have the time. What else are we going to do? I am I really am liking this technique. Um, I, probably more so than candy because I don't have fairy wings and fairy feet that are tiny. The bird feet were bad enough, but there was only a little space of that, so it didn't take very long. But you can see how, I mean, you could even draw a bird without having to do fiddly feet. A butterfly, just a big general outline of a butterfly. Those are great. Make yourself a tree. Sylvia, take one of your trees. Um, tired and couldn't think of anything else to call. What? Why? Can, uh, can pay, but I can't fly right now. Oh, I'm sorry, Gary. Oh, Carrie, you'll have to message me later. We'll have to talk. She can fly. She can pay, but she can't fly right now. Okay. And I was thinking it was the, because it was uh, too expensive I from I can fly. Toronto. <laughs> there are those who can fly but can't pay and those who can pay but can't fly. And that's a bummer. All right, Carrie, can you, um, do you think you'll be ready to fly by September? Ms. Waters? No, no, I want that. Mm hmm? I didn't hear what you said, Candy. I didn't want that paper. Oh, okay. talking to yourself. Yeah. Carrie, do, um, do you... So I can have think... a telling conversation. <laughs> yeah. Carrie, do you think you'll you'll be um, able to fly, ready to fly by September? She hopes so. Okay. Did your wings fall off? <laughs> Even made an accordion page for my journal to accommodate the blinking trees. Nice, Sylvia. Nice. That's funny, Sylvia. Just this morning, I was thinking about making accordion um, pullout to go on book pages. Okay, now I think I've, I've got that all covered. Do I? Did I cover all the spots? I think I did. So then that down. Make sure they're all pasted down. Oops. All right, so I've got them all covered, and now you can see my toucan and my hearts. So now I think I would like to. By adding some of this 
gold tissue paper. This is so pretty. And I don't know if I want it everywhere or just here and there, but I'm just going to... Let's see. I feel like the flourishes, so... Somewhere, and uh, I don't like the straight edges. You know, tissue paper, napkins, rice paper, if you tear it so you don't have straight edges, then all those teeny tiny fibers come out, and it will blend in. If you cut a straight edge and then glue it down, you're going to see a straight edge that you cut. So... If that concerns you, and if that's not what you want, then you know to tear it. All right, let's try this. Ooh, that's going to look cool. Deep sleep, Candy, deep sleep. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> do it because mine is all wonky oh sylvia wings are hanging loose as usual <laughs> not strong enough to carry a flea though <laughs> well carrie what um some folks are doing that you could consider doing is packing up um box with your clothing and a box with whatever stuff you want to bring and stick it in the mail and just ship it to me or ship it to the hotel, either way. You can ship it to me, you can ship it earlier so that you know for sure it's here when you get here and not still in, um, you know, Gulfport, Mississippi. And then all you need to do is bring your bad self and um, whatever you need to carry on with you, purse, whatever. Her bad self? You know, bring your bad self over here. Oh, no, she's trying to talk and, you know. <laughs> no. Well, I know Carrie's bad enough to fit in with you guys. <laughs> so, that's what I meant. Okay. Sure. Thank you, Julie. I do like this tissue paper, too. This was in um, uh, March's subscription box. It is really gorgeous. And putting it over book page. Um, very pretty, very elegant. It just uh, pulls down the book page a little bit and adds a little bit more interest. So let's see where we're going to put it right in here. And then going back, Carrie, we just box up whatever and ship it back. You don't have to carry anything if you don't want to or aren't able to. I already received two boxes for, for, for Glennis. All right, let's see here. Get this coming off of an edge. Go right there. Got two edges. <laughs> Carrie's bad, all right. <laughs> She's like, that's right, and don't you forget it. <laughs> I'm bad. I'm bad. <laughs> She's so bad. She's bad. Oh, bad, bad Leroy Brown is what it made me think of. <laughs> In the baddest part of town. I mean, I got everybody else's stuff, Carrie. Why not yours? <laughs> oh, Carrie. Then all your stuff that I have here, I'll just bring to retreat. And you can use everything and anything you want. Take back what you want. Everything else we box up and ship back. That's what everybody else is doing anyway. So let's get a little bit of a border over here with the little edge of this tissue paper. Uh, I don't want a sharp edge up there. So, yeah, that works, Carrie. I'm happy to drag your boxes over there, too.
sides and everybody thinks, oh no, that's not, that doesn't work. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's mouth speaking before I'm thinking. Uh, no, I'm, it's, it's my remedial math again. Never mind. <laughs> Haven't I told you not to do math when you've been up white past <laughs> two in the morning? Haven't I told you that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did I ever listen to you? <laughs> no, she doesn't, lady. She doesn't. Why start now? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, this is the pattern paper that's got dots on it. Why in the world does it have dots on it? So oh, that's not tissue paper. It's just pattern paper, right? Yeah. So I think I have some of that. That was... Um, um, it's like to line cookie boxes or something. So I think was its original. No, I don't know. But yeah, it's just cool paper though. All right, let's see. A little bit more tissue paper, and I think I will call this guy toast. Oh, in the corner. Get some down here in the corner. Hmm. Flight for cheaper than to fly to Calgary? <laughs> no, Carrie, I'm talking about now in April. Ship everything and then you don't have to carry anything at all. You just come plop yourself in a chair and enjoy it. Laughter will heal and, and make you stronger. <laughs> no, we'll get this stuff out before September. But if you were coming in April, I would hold it for sure. She's like, I don't want to wait till September. I know. I was thinking now because um, she's not able to carry things right now, the weight. So, but now, come in April, we still got three weeks. That's plenty of time to pack up your boxes and ship them out. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? You think Carrie should come? Yeah. Yeah. See, Carrie? Not the only plan. That would be fun. We'd have two Canadians in the same retreat. <laughs> Uh -oh. oh, yeah. Wait, we better not. That's too much. <laughs> Can't handle. Um, no, but I'm here's kidding. the funny thing. They're from two opposite ends of Canada. Oh, and that's East even worse. and one's West End. I know. <laughs> I see, are, are they going to break out the change in the... In the, in the, in the... I was just they're going to break out a fight. <laughs> <laughs> East fight. against West. <laughs> yeah. Uh <laughs> Toronto against Calgary. <laughs> oh, okay. Carrie, you better start on your passport right now because right now they're saying 10 to 13 weeks. So <laughs> yeah, um, it, it would really be a party, wouldn't it? <laughs> It'd be a fun party for sure. But yeah, they are saying 10 to 13 weeks right now on passports. So um, now would be a good time. Uh, oh, I might like that one better. Let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, we went to renew our passports and because, um, you know, we just got busy and COVID and didn't think about it went to renew our passports and we were like two months past the date that you could renew them. We had to apply for new ones. Like, bomber. <laughs> That's a pain. And then they're like, oh, we got this online program that you can go online and apply for your passport. And it's, you know, what, what six to eight weeks or something. And okay, awesome. Let's do that. Go online and like, oh, it's a it's a beta program, and so it's only we did it for like how many come in. We we've we've closed the website, so we don't need any more beta samples. So, so you have to go do it in person. And by the way, that's ten to thirteen weeks. We did ours mostly online. Yeah. Well, how long ago? Well, it's been a while. It's been huge. yeah. Yeah, uh, right now, like last month, this is where they were. We had to go. Well, you can renew online, absolutely. Yeah, we had to renew. Well, um, yeah, ours was just a renewal. Yeah, because we've always renewed online, but we screwed up, and it was two months past the yeah time that you could renew, and so we had to apply for whole 
new passport <laughs> under scrutiny again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, uh, so now we're waiting, 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 waiting. We're going to let them go because we, we don't really foresee us traveling, but we were like, no, just get them done. Just, in case, just keep them. If we don't want to cruise again. We'll need it for that. Oh, that's true. Yes. You know, we even, need, we even needed it for Alaska because we were going through through Canada, Vancouver. We were flying yep. out, coming back out of Vancouver. Yep. So we were like, okay, let's just go ahead and get them. Yep. Yeah, because when you plan a cruise, you may not yeah, do it. Go to Alaska again. So. You may not do it far enough in advance. You may go. You know what? There's a really good deal. We're free. Let's go. I love yeah. to travel like that without a ton of notice. I don't have to wait to see if I feel good or what's going on. It's right now. We're, we're free. Go. Let's go. I like that. I'm really liking that tissue paper on there. It looks good. Well, it kind of blended the colors together. So yeah. I it kind of, yeah. It tones down the, the dark and the light of the book page and kind of brings it all together. It would really be a true party if we had East and West Canada. Yep. <laughs> Sylvia's afraid when she gets back from Nebraska, she'll be biting people at a random pace. <laughs> oh, hi, Sherry. Wait, don't Sherry. you already do that? Don't you already do that, Sylvia? Yeah, really. <laughs> Sherry, we're talking about retreat, and right now Glennis is coming, um, and Carrie was thinking about coming to retreat. She's in Canada, and they're on two opposite ends of Canada. So, now, oh, Julie's gonna go to work. Woo -hoo. Bye, Julie. <laughs> Have fun, Julie. <laughs> Have fun working while we're crafting. <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Sherry, you should come to retreat. Oh, I can't remember where in Canada Sherry is. Are you right in the middle? That would be awesome. We don't want East. no Canadians. You guys need to stay in your own country. God dang it. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> You guys know Candy's kidding, right? I better say that before somebody. <laughs> you can't come to retreat. There's no room for you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Candy. <laughs> oh, no. Glennis is coming. She's in Calgary. Yeah, um, we could stop her. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie is over in Toronto area. Oh man, Sherry's Winnipeg. No passport. Okay, Sherry, apply for your passport now. That's what we were just talking about because right now they're taking 10 to 13 weeks. Oh, wait a minute. You're in a different country. I don't know what your country's taking. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that the US is taking 10 to 13 weeks for a passport. So I don't know what Canada takes, whether it's even longer. But apply now so you can come in September. Then we'll have. Glennis and Carrie and Sherry <laughs> in September. That would be fun. Not. Uh, and As the fight breaks out. In case you guys didn't hear, I only mentioned this once, but the fight breaks out. We'll bring spray water bottles <laughs> for the dog fight. Hose? We need hose. We need a hybrid hose. Um, <laughs> Um, those who didn't hear, I only said it once, so I'll tell you again that the no, they won't let me out. <laughs> Candy's getting locked in the room for sure. Um, in the my room, they won't let me in the in the conference room. In the, in the, <laughs> yeah, she doesn't get to come to the HBP room. Yeah, then we talked to Rodney. Do not let her out of the room. Dang it, she can message room. from her room and we'll put <laughs> cookies by her door and run. She can open it. <laughs> Um, the link for um, September retreat is going to open during April retreat for registration. So those of you who are thinking September. Um, keep that in mind. Doesn't mean you have to have your, your um, passport in hand, but, you know, you can make plans to. <laughs> get it uh, applied for. But that would be plenty. Of, let's see, April, May, June, July, August, September. Five months, that should be, that should be plenty. Get a passport. 
It's the end of September. So yeah, you'd have plenty of time to get a passport by then. I wasn't going to put this much on, but I'm really liking what it's doing for the book page underneath it. And you can still see the book page. And so I am putting more on all around, all around the town. Sherry says she can't afford to travel on the passport, just not the cards. Well, I'm sorry. Mm. Who and just who among us can run? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did I say run? Run what? <laughs> what did I say run for? <laughs> Oh, we're going to drop the cookies at your door and run. Um, yeah. Sandy can. <laughs> I don't know. She's had a bad back. Who knows? You know, you don't Sandy can drop the cookies and run. I'm not saying she will run, but, <laughs> but she could. Uh, she might stay to <laughs> see who gets the cookies. Well, I'd be there to intercept Rodney's co the cookies she's bringing to That's Rodney. true. That's true. You would be. Uh. <laughs> oh my goodness crumble cookies it'll be this year yeah well, we might get some of those good costco cookies too you know the good chocolate chip ones or cho uh, oatmeal chocolate chip or yeah they do good ones or is it oatmeal raisin oatmeal raisin white chocolate macadamia you don't like those? Oatmeal and a cookie, it just ruins it. Oh, yeah. Um, if I'm in the right mood, raisin in it, that just really yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm in the right mood, I can eat that cookie and like it. If not, then I don't care for it. Um, oh, I like oatmeal. Sorry, I'm hurt. Canada doesn't want me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Canada doesn't want you either. Yeah, nice, Carrie. Sure was I'm sure they don't. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> Way to jump on it. <laughs> oh, messing that up totally. Totally messing that up. So let me just get those right off of there. Get a fresh one. That's okay, Candy. We don't want you either. Just drop a rock at the door and keep the cookies. Whoever you like to do <laughs> Oh, Marjorie, you're so smart. <laughs> I like it. Okay, your fairy turned out great. You got around all those little nooks and crannies quite quite nicely. Yeah. Yeah, she was um, so difficult to get around with all the little bits and pieces. All right. Let me try this again. I'm just really having a problem with this little spot up here. Now it's sticking to my finger. All right. What are you putting on it? Ink. Nice. Ah, Candy. You know Carrie was just kidding. You know she loves you. <laughs> no, she doesn't. I know she doesn't. 
<laughs> and she says, both pages look awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. <laughs> Yeah, people say that when they're not really saying the truth. I know that. I know. They say I, that when they want I, to mislead you, deceive you into thinking something and becoming vulnerable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, Carrie fits right in your snark brigade. <laughs> Woohoo, the glue came in and the little bottle. Oh, nice. Wow. Wow, Sylvia. Wow. Oh, Don says up to you, but a bit of lumberjack red might look nice. I know, but I put it's already packed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Candy's going out of town Thursday <laughs> and she's coming back with one day to turn around, empty the car, and repack the car to come to retreat. Yeah. So, so she's <laughs> gotta be packed for retreat now. <laughs> most of it. I'm trying to get most of the stuff I you know that one's yeah, I yeah. brought that one. My my salvage patina is packed. Both. Oh, <laughs> nice, nice. Have both out. All the good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking that too, but I don't have another red that I think would work. It's, I don't have candied apple. Hmm. I, don't, I don't even have another red. I don't think because red is not my favorite color. Hmm. And I picked raspberry, I guess. So. But it, oh. Yeah, the I think pick raspberry will conflict with that oh, red. Kind of, or is is that red? Your fairy looks red. Is she red? Oh, the orangey red. It's an orangey red. Okay, well, pick raspberry is a pink, purple yeah, red. No, I did fine. I didn't. I must have missed. Oh, so I wouldn't. Yeah, <laughs> I got the oxide, but not the off the. Uh, I don't think you'd be happy with that one anyway. Let's see here. Must have missed that one. Alrighty. Okay. Just just <laughs> yeah, instant gratification. <laughs> uh, yeah, the um, the less fidgety your corners are on your thing, the, the your image, the faster you would get through this. If you're wanting some instant gratification, um, yeah, I usually do a collage thing when I'm needing to just sit down. I, I love to collage. collage. Yeah. To chill, relax, slow. When I need to slow my brain down, because I'm going too fast, too long. Um, Which is every day. <laughs> oh, I would love collage time every day. That would be so beneficial. But you know, because collage forces me to slow down. You can. Only go so fast. I mean, you can go fast, but you can only pick up one piece at a time and put it. That's not true. You can lay glue down and then slap a whole bunch of things down, but still, you know what I mean? Yeah. It takes a little, it, it uh, encourages you to be just a little bit slower in your method. It facilitates, it facilitates, <laughs> facilitates slow down in my brain which obviously hasn't returned <laughs> oh it's still fertilizing <laughs> let's see uh, we need a little bit over here <laughs> Sylvia says, Margie, speak for me. Speak for me. It worked pretty well. Sing to me. Yeah. Oh, that looks very cool. Yeah. I like it. Stencil's awesome. I would draw a big square in the center and then collage around it. And even then, it might take me a year to finish. <laughs> oh, only because you'd put two pieces down, get bored, and go on to something else. Yeah. <laughs> Which I yeah, got. I'm guilty of that. There are days when I don't want to collage because I, I just can't sit still long enough to do it. That's when you do it. That's when um, 
do a couple pieces like Margie. Walk away, come back another time. <laughs> yeah, I do that magazine that I was doing. Oh, yeah. Just... Do you guys do that? Take a, keep a magazine. Um, and I try to do it, but sometimes we just don't have time. Right. And so then I'll sit down and do a whole bunch at one time. Well, after I'm done, during a, during, after a live, sometimes I'll just sit down. Yeah. You just randomly collage pages. Right. Take a magazine, uh, no, like old magazine you don't want anymore, and you just collage all yeah, your scraps. Man, the things that we get, I just. Yeah. Collage your I scraps. I always finish a page. I just slap it on. Right. And then you can, those pages are then extra thick and then you can go grab a page, tear it out and cut, cut tags or, you know, collage the other side, whatever it is. Yeah. I don't oh, usually collage the other side because it just. Makes I don't until I go to use it because a lot of times I'll just coffee dyed paper or, you know, yeah. solid or whatever, depending if it's going to be glued down or used yeah. as a tag. I can do that. I try, but sometimes I just don't. But yeah. I'm. I don't like, uh, I like to do it with paper and tissue, not cardstock. I like these ones, the, the, the ones that are only like four or five pages, these little yes. bank ones. Awesome. I love these because everything sticks on them so much better because they're, yeah. they're not shiny. And they're not and very big. So. You can complete a, a whole magazine and it's done and, and you've got enough pages to work with, but it's not so many that they're all over the place. Oh, I just have to use them now. Sometimes I'll take the magazine if this is the magazine, I'll take it and I'll cut it, um, not in half, but above half, a little bit above. Well, uh, this would be easier. A standard magazine, cut it in half, and then I take the top half and I cut that in half. Yeah. And then I have uh, one this size. It's like six by nine. And then I'll have two more like this that are perfect for tag strips or embellishment strips. And then collage those and have some little ones and some big ones punch a hole in the end, just put it on a ring and hang it up somewhere. So you could just grab it and add collage to it at any time. And I'm going to do one. I saw the, um, the Chevy W2 idea where she put clusters on the pages. Uh huh. So I made a little book here to start doing that. Cool. To try it and see if I like it. Uh, we've done cluster strips, but the cluster pages, that sounds like a great idea. And you just lift them out when you need them. Yeah. I'm going to try it. I made a little book to put them in. So, cool. Sit right here beside me. Oh, baby cat. Yeah. Yeah. I was able to get this tinsel to cut one time. I cannot get it to cut again. <laughs> <laughs> I was having it's issues. It has to not cut. been right cooperating. Now, I will send it to you when I get it cut. It has not been cooperating. I just got a new blade, so we're hoping that was part of the problem. A new knife, and I got a knife blade this time to do a sticker stencil. Yeah, we'll see if it works. And I will send you one, Margie. I thought of that when I saw that. Absolutely, pattern. she did. She told me so. Thanks, Gary. Yeah, it was a stencil. Yeah, I made it. Where is my stencil? This is the stencil I cut. <laughs> it kind of ripped. <laughs> Yeah, it's I've taped, well, you know, you know the stencil it, material, and there's so many factors yeah, to it. It's hard to see because it was real clear. Never know. Yeah, but, um, it was hard getting it off the mat without ripping it. That was right. the hardest part. And I used the light mat, light grip mat that's been used many times. <laughs> yeah, many times. Oh, you're not done yet? What are you doing now? Oh, I decided to just go in and fiddle with all these little itty bitty places. We were just working and talking and Oh. Yeah, I'm done, but I thought I'm I'll just you cover already all these. done the itty bitty places. <laughs> oh we did tissue paper over. Oh, the tissue paper. Yeah, I already yeah, did I didn't it. do I didn't do right there for her. I was like yeah. Well, I was done, so I thought I'll just, you know, because you were yeah. still working and I wanted to put some ink I on it. I didn't do paper or, or, or ink on yeah. it. Um when it dries, I might do color. <laughs> yeah, I will do maybe some ink around the outside and I might do a little ink over the top, but probably not quite like you did. Because yeah. of the tissue paper, you know, maybe I would have if I just had just done um, 
book page. But, uh, oh, yeah, yours is pretty. I like that. So, well, yeah, once you said that, I was like, oh, that'd be perfect, but I don't want to use I don't want to use the same thing you were using. Right. <laughs> Um, oh, I wasn't stressed, Margie. I wasn't stressing over the cat because I knew I had time to do that to get it to you. It was the others that I was stressing over. Things he was trying to get done before retreat. Before retreat, and I, I just ran out of time. And yeah. it, the, the cricket was not cooperating. Yeah. It just, I was trying she to get went it. through so much paper and <laughs> tried it so many times. And, you know, I said, forget it. Forget it. We don't need it that bad. Yeah. <laughs> just we'll try it while I'm there. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll work once it's in Utah. Maybe it's just yeah, there. You go. <laughs> it's ready for a vacation. Come to Cricket headquarters, and maybe it'll work here. <laughs> if not, maybe we'll have it together by September. We'll see. You know. No, you'll we you'll get it. So you'll much. have it soon. You'll have it soon. We got so much stuff. Step on the cricket. That's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was tempted to throw it. <laughs> As it is, she threw the mat. <laughs> you know, I do a test cut, it worked great, and then you go and it was oh <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do the real thing and nope, not so much. All right, I think cut out that little star like nobody's business, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, it's after two. I didn't even realize that. Holy oh, cow. Yes. Oh, Did yeah. you realize what time it was? No, it isn't. And I got to get going because we're going to, yeah. we have to make yep. some, do some errands. Then we're gonna okay. Together. I'm going to make you full screen. Show them, show them what you ended up with. That is really pretty. That butterfly looks like, it looks like it's a, um, a, what do you call it? Like it's so much bigger than the fairy. Looks like it's coming after her. Like the. I, know. I didn't realize, <laughs> you know, like, oh man, I should, that's the only size butterfly yeah. I have. Yeah, that's okay. If you do fold it in half and put it in an art journal page, and she'd be on one side, he'd be on the other yeah. side, and you know, it won't matter. This is this is a sprite. <laughs> oh yeah, so she can write. Okay, no, 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 that's perfect because she can write on the butterfly's back. Yeah, yeah, I like it. It's a I like it a lot. That's a cute little blue skirt too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. She turned out great, and you did really good in her fiddly corners. <laughs> Oh, that is really, really pretty. Yep. And Glennis sent a picture, and here's my toucan oh, oh, stand. Let me, let me get it, Glennis. I'm sorry I wasn't set up. <laughs> oh, I just, no, I can grab it if you want. You don't have to set up. No, I can, I can do it. Oh, yeah, I, can. I do really like the tissue paper over the top. I like the book page, but the tissue paper just kind of toned it down and made the book page more of a backdrop instead of a focal point taking away from toucan. So I really do like that. So, so fun. So you can use this for something or you can fold it in half and put it into an art journal. Butterfly going to eat that fairy. No, he's coming over to give the fairy a ride. <laughs> Fiddly, wonky, snarky. Thumbs up. That's right. Thank you, Sylvia, for the reminder. All right. And Candy's pulling up Glennis's. Yeah, I'm trying to get it. Oh, Glennis, but the pictures are blurry, Glennis. Did you know that? Uh-oh. You were moving. Uh-oh. You're did you do animals on yours? They were moving while you're trying to trying to take their picture. <laughs> we can show Glennis's and then we'll move on out of here. We got a lot to do. I love that. Oh, that was Sylvia's in my wrong way. That one. The wolf, I like it. Oh wow. That's cool. Did you do, did you do, um, did you do your book page and then stencil the wolf on top of it, Glennis? Yeah, she did it backwards. Okay. But whatever. Yeah, he's pretty. This one she did, this one it looks like she did the collage. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's a stencil candy made. Awesome. Oh, um, oh yeah, that's the one I did last year. Last year. Yeah, I didn't even cut this one out. It wouldn't even cut out this year. I tried. I was like, well, I'll get really? the same one I did last uh -oh. year. It wouldn't cut. I was like, Ooh. Uh oh, <laughs> that cricket's in trouble. <laughs> that was in trouble. It was in big trouble. <laughs> so, um, very nice. Product. Yeah, very pretty. Very nice. Thank you. All right, ladies. I have to go. I do too. I love you. So I thanks for being here. Saturday. I will try to tune in, but it just depends on what's going on with my sister. Um, so have fun. Okay. Yeah, Sounds good. You.
Oh, we'll do something on Saturday retreat. night. I'll be at retreat and nothing else. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And guys, don't forget about the April challenge. It is in the group. It is pinned up to the top. So no. you can see the pro it is not. I'll pin it. Carrie, Carrie, no, Carrie, I didn't make the wolf stencil. That I did not oh, make it. No, no, no. The shape yeah, one. I yeah, with all the shapes. She made that one. So, I yeah. like to make the wolf stencil. Not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> go, to the, go to the group. Find Candy's post up at the top. It is pinned up there and featured. And see what the April prompts are that Linda chose and make something posted in. Put the hashtag in because, guys, um, there's not a ton of people that are doing that. Just telling you that if you do that, you're going to have a really good chance of winning the $10. So the same people are doing it every month. They are and they know they're going to win because somebody's going to win. So get in there and get it before the same people just keep winning. Sorry, same people. So, <laughs> but it is fun when everybody participates because we get to see everybody's take on the same prompts. It is. It is. Yep. Come back and leave a comment so you can get in the drawing for the giant box of um, craft supplies. And we will see you all Saturday night. Love y'all. Love you.